We are so welcoming of, of our two guests in front of us this morning. Marg and I are here to welcome Ty Safuri, who is Community Relations Director at Retire at Home. Good morning. Good morning. And Executive Director at Retired Home, Nicole Troiano. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. So they're all ready to answer our questions, and we're going to let Mark get going with that right away. Well, welcome to you both. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having you. us. It's a pleasure, and of course, great to have you back, Nicole. And Thank you. Big support of the show, and we're thrilled with that. So I can imagine that often people wait too long to call you for an assessment, which could become a real, really expensive in the long run. Um, if you were called earlier, would you consider coaching a family member to participate in their care plan? Absolutely, we do that all the time. Um, the, the reason why we prefer to do that all the time is that there is a difference between the assessment process and the consultation. The consultation um, allows us to get to know you. It allows us to get to know your needs and moving forward, it allows us a, a deeper respect in putting together a care plan that suits you. Customized to the individual. Absolutely. And with an assessment, it's so uh, clinical. You know, people tend to veer away from that and, you know, nobody wants to be assessed medically. So that's why we prefer to move forward with a consultation and we always encourage family members to join in during that time. Don't you love to hear that, mm -hmm. Liz? Because it is a family decision. Yeah. Ultimately, it affects everyone. And chances are by the time a retired home has been called in, there is already involvement from the family and maybe they just need a little extra help to do some more of the work for their family. Exactly. Yeah. You, you agree with that, Atex? Yeah, absolutely. So you're think, nodding there. Yeah, well, I, I think it's so important for families to be so involved um, mm -hmm. because what we like to encourage and promote is, is avoiding a crisis situation. Um, because then that ties into this expensive, mm -hmm. you know, portion of, of care. Yeah. Um, and it can be inexpensive if, well, number one, we, we do our best to take care of ourselves and each other. And it's so important that as a family, we try to um, support our loved ones so that we can avoid that crisis situation. Mm -hmm. Because it can go something from even as simple as having a companion to now we're moving into transporting up and up and down the stairs because they took a fall. Yeah. So if we can avoid that crisis situation, it really does make um, the transition and the care plan a lot easier. Mm -hmm. But things happen. You yeah. know, sometimes you know it, it, it happens to those uh, in, in many situations where that crisis situation happens. So it's good that we educate ourselves and we know what's available, what services, what, yeah. what resources, those, those are important factors. I think too, I just wanted to add this bit, I know that um, cost is, is an issue for everybody looking for care and we have to start learning that everything is not going to come for free or from the government right. and so as Nicole and I are talking about lots of times, we have to accept the fact we're going to have to pay for some of these yeah. things, yeah. so let's do that preventative care Absolutely. stuff so that we don't end up with really expensive and, stuff. And and to add to that, what we try to do is we try to augment some of the um, community uh, services that are available. We try to bring that into the care. So this way it does minimize some of the costs. You know, for example, if somebody's being discharged from the hospital and they get approved for some physiotherapy, let's use that before we use our physiotherapist in the home. Fantastic. That's, great. That's really important to hear. And that, really you know, I've just experienced that. Uh, situation exactly with our family yeah. and it is so important and, and how fitting on the show being very holistic we're talking about preventing expenses but we also have a great partner in, in Terry McIntyre and talking about how do we prepare yeah. um, financially mm -hmm. for these inevitable things that may come up and working together and linking arms like you would with somebody like Terry would make a big difference in the family sure. as well. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm even planning right now and I'm as young as I am just working so just closely with seniors younger, it makes you so yeah. aware you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I know I have many, many years to go, but... Absolutely. But you have planned no ties and you're young, but you're so aware. Our seniors, for the most part, didn't know this exactly. when they were your Oh, age. absolutely. So it's yes. coming as quite a shock to them, yeah. and that's why we want to be and That's why education help. is so important. Yeah, absolutely. So aging at home. It's a new buzzword out there. Everybody yeah. wants to age at home. It's something they've done before, but now it's become an issue. So home, home health care is definitely one of the supports that we need. But can you identify perhaps the most valuable service you provide for people who want to age at home? Well, um, I mean, services are so broad. I mean, we like to we like to focus on not just um, medical medical care, but non medical care mm -hmm. because sometimes it's just having that that cognitive stimulation or that that someone to speak exactly. you know, with and 
and being able to share those. Sometimes we're just lonely. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. So uh, and we do an array of, of services, and we really like to um, go back to and circle back to having that that complimentary consultation when we get to to the need. We don't want to just sit here and feature dump of all the things we can do, um, because oftentimes you're just talking to something that doesn't resonate with them. Yeah. So it's important to really um, listen and understand what that individual's needs are. That's perfect. Um, and and like really that. You like that. that. I can oh, see you smiling, Mark. I'm smiling because yeah. just the word listen yeah. is something mm -hmm. I think in today's society with the fast-paced lives that we lead, we don't listen to one another. Absolutely. And certainly our seniors need to be heard. Yeah. And that's that's so powerful. You know, and I'm sorry. sorry, Chad, I was just, I mean, we are such great advocates for seniors because although we do complimentary consultations, sometimes we're not the right fit for whatever reason. But really, Nicole takes the time to find the right resource, yeah. and I've noticed this about her. She will do whatever she can to ensure that that person finds a solution. Whether it's with your yeah. business or not. Exactly. Which speaks volumes. Absolutely. And, you know, moving forward, we've helped hundreds of families, and really, really our, our true goal is to find that peace of mind which allows our older adult to flourish and thrive while they're maintaining their independence because yeah. that's one of the key things nobody wants to lose their independence mm -hmm. yeah. and you have every right to keep that and have people around you respect that absolutely so lastly i mean we could talk for hours with both of you <laughs> yeah. it's, it's wonderful to have you here what would we be surprised to hear that you do to help your clients? I'm already surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised to hear that you'll refer outside of your business because it matters. Yeah. So that's already one surprise. Is there anything else you can share? Um, there's many things that we can share. You know, we have some very special partnerships, um, for example, with Medical Alert. Yes. Um, every month we get specials that we want to pass on to our clients. Mm -hmm. Right? So instead of paying the full rate, you're getting this amazing discounted rate. Uh, right now we're working uh, with uh, Peel Elder Abuse and we're uh, putting together on June 15th a, uh, an event that is, um, you know, where all the proceeds are going to go to uh, support safe housing. Aww. So there's so many things that we want to encourage, you know, and, um, and, you know, shine within the community by helping people and being more sincere than just... You know, at the end of the day, it's not about numbers, it's about compassionate yeah. care. I think before we let them go, um, one of the things that's unique to Retire at Home on our show so far, Marv, is that Nicole has gathered several franchise owners yes. um, together to sponsor our program. So how many are... are We're eight there? all together. Eight people all together. That's, well, that's fantastic, eight franchisees, that's wonderful. And I understand you even have higher encouragement than yeah. that. Yes, we absolutely do. Jonathan Martin, who is the VP of our company, his mom is actually the founder of our company, he always encourages us to collaborate and work together and be as involved as possible in the communities that we work with. That's terrific. So being part of Making Our Seniors Matter, uh, he's embracing as well, which we really appreciate. So thank you for that. Thanks for being with us today thank on the you show. You're amazing ambassadors for what we believe in here at Making Our Seniors Matter. And I know that everybody listening at home will appreciate what you have to offer. Thank you. Stay